disappear I'm still a kid trying to act like they all taught me But nothing makes sense anymore and welcome back to another home vlog happy new year to you all 2022 it is a sunday and i thought today would be a really nice day to vlog and show you what a typical weekend looks like for us the things that we like to do how i'm kick-starting the year getting back into my routines and habits um, because we went away for christmas and i've fallen off the bandwagon which i think is pretty normal so giving myself a bit of grace and trying to do things you know slowly again so did all my skincare this morning and did a few household chore bits you know empty the bins did the washing and uh, thought i'd come out and walk bonnie while ben was still in bed he goes back to work in a couple of days and i know that he really appreciates a lion on a weekend so i thought i'd take her out go to the post office and send back an ASOS parcel and then do the day. I'm also very excited to share that this vlog is kindly sponsored by HelloFresh and we love HelloFresh so much. A lot of you will know that by now and I know a lot of you have been asking in my DMs if I have a code and anything like that so I do. It will all be in the description and I'll talk about HelloFresh a little bit later on. You can see the meals we've got in for the weekend so we wouldn't normally get it delivered on a Sunday but it's just the way that the new year fell and us going away so we've got meals for tonight, Benji's home tomorrow and then I'll have an extra that I can have for lunch and dinner on Tuesday. So yeah, really excited that's coming today because we have nothing in the fridge. When I say nothing, I mean literally, I think milk and eggs is all we've got going. So <laughs> we need to um, we need to have our delivery come this morning. Um, and then the plans for today is that we're going to the gym. Benji recently joined my David Lloyd gym, the same one, so that we can go and do workouts together. And we started playing tennis together, which has been really fun. So we're gonna do that today. And we're also going to the cinema because a lot of you know we love going to the cinema so oh and we need to do the Christmas decorations as well so it's gonna be uh, a busy old day really so I'm gonna take Bonnie um, around the park a bit and then uh, go back home and have some breakfast so just before Christmas I was very kindly sent this very very beautiful wash bag from a company called Elizabeth Scarlet and I used it when we went away so it's got loads of things inside of it hair bits and whatever um, I loved it, absolutely loved it. So I was having a little look and actually saw on Boots that they did a collaboration with Number 7 and they have all these different gift sets in the sale right now. If this is still available, I'll leave it linked, but obviously it was half price in the sale. Worth £78, but was 25 so an absolute bargain. Not a huge fan of the fact it comes with wipes. I don't really use wipes anymore, but lovely Number 7 bits here all right this is what the bag looks like it's pretty big actually it's really nice and these bags are quite expensive so this is just worth it just for the bag alone um but then it says hand wrapped in the uk and this nice number seven paper the primer the lip and cheek tint and the um the lipstick the matte fixing mist and the mascara so this is really good like for 25 pound all these products love it really think it's worth it and they have a couple of others um, available as well so yeah like I said I'll have it linked for you. I haven't bought much else in the sale but I love anklets especially on summer holidays and in the summer months so I bought some of these from Joma Jewelry. I love Joma Jewelry and I just thought these were so pretty so definitely check them out. I featured Joma Jewelry in my Christmas gift guide video and I just think they're really lovely so yeah some nice Christmas gifts and birthday ideas and things like that so just thought I'd show you those as well. I can't remember how much they were, but I think they were about £10 each. Look who's woken up. Hello. <laughs> Little snooze. <laughs> Little snooze. Little snooze. It's half past ten. Yeah, well, I woke up an hour and a half ago. You've just yeah. been in bed. We, oh. um, well, I've only got one more day like this, haven't I? Tomorrow and then I'm back to it. Back to work, yeah. Back to the grind. But we're off to the gym and we're playing tennis this morning. We both uh, realised that we really love tennis. We're absolutely terrible, but... We. we are. We. We can't get a 50 rally yet. We. We have to, oh gosh, we're going. Um, we have to try and get to 50 today. That's yeah. the goal. We are both equally bad, aren't we both equally? You could okay. do with being nicer to me on your return to me. He, he hits it really hard. <laughs> this is the best sound and smell in sport. Oh. Opening a new tennis ball. Unless you know, you don't know. 
this. If you know, you know. Okay, so there are other people playing badminton in the background. So I'll warm up with Benj, we'll do a little bit and then I'll film a little bit of us, but we just hit it back and forth basically. <laughs> We were so bad today. We can't even call what we just did tennis. <laughs> that was just, we just did bat sport, bat ball. That's what we just played. We couldn't get past 36 and every time we're like 34, 35, no. <laughs> we couldn't get to 50. One of these days we will. But the thing is, the more we play, the more practice it is. I played competitive and played growing up. I did tournaments and I can't even get the ball over the net. We spent more time laughing about running to the ball. We kept just falling on the ground laughing. <laughs> oh, right, come on, let's leave then. Right, you're going to go in the gym now, are you? Yeah. It's 12 o'clock. I'm going to go for a swim and a shower because I'm already sweaty anyway, so. Good. <laughs> Good. At least we got the right tennis balls. <laughs> Casual. Be casual. Yeah. Casual hobby. Okay, I've just come out of the shower and I swam for 20 minutes today. I did actually do a swim yesterday as well. We came down yesterday. Um, so we've had a good weekend, haven't we, of exercise? Yeah. It's been yeah. really good. Um, so we've ordered some food because we're both pretty hungry. I like a few things on the menu. I've shown a few things um, on the vlog, but today I've ordered a chicken fajita salad and some sweet potato fries. It's really good, the food here. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have some lunch and then this afternoon we're going to the cinema, which will be nice. Benji's got a burger. I was going to have jack potato, but they didn't, the they didn't have it today, no. And I've got the fajita salad. Look how good this looks. Good it's really yummy. And also the sweet potato fries are the bomb. The HelloFresh box got delivered whilst we were out. It's a little bit soggy from the rain, but that's okay. The food inside is still going to be good. So let's get it open. So I know a lot of you know by now, but HelloFresh is a food subscription service that allows you to pick the recipes you want there's a huge selection of meals you can tailor how many people how many meals what day you want it to arrive you can skip and cancel for the weeks like we were away for christmas i skipped it i honestly don't know what i do without hellofresh genuinely and it saves us so many of those conversations on what we're having for dinner it keeps us on track we eat a lot less takeaways we enjoy a lot of the premium uh, recipes that they have i absolutely love the app you can pick what meals you want look at this huge selection of dinners if we want to have a bit of a date night in especially during the colder winter months when it's darker i love having like warm homemade wholesome dinners you know and hellofresh just allows us to do that so we have three meals delivered per week and you get the easy to follow recipe cards that look like this we'll go through what meals we pick this week in a second and then each meal comes pre-portioned fresh ingredients delivered straight to the door. I love how the numbers on the bags match the recipe cards as well. So everything comes like this. So you don't have to weigh out the ingredients. You've got everything you need, which just makes my life so much easier. And especially if Benj and I have had a really long day, we can just um, pick up a recipe card and grab the bag. HelloFresh has become such a huge part of my life. That genuinely, even if I wasn't working with them, we would be having it. And when I'm not um, sharing them on my vlogs, we are weekly customers have been for ages we look forward to like picking which food we're gonna have which meals so this week we've got our favorite one in this week this is a new favorite that we've discovered and we're gonna have it tonight so we're gonna show you it later but it's the chorizo crusted baked penne pasta with broccoli this tastes divine if you are another hellofresh customer let me know your favorites and if you haven't tried this one yet please do because it's so good one of the classic ones we've had a couple of times now. Sausage, sausage and mash. Just can't go wrong with that. And it has um, mango chutney gravy, which is delicious. And then another mango chutney one. This has got the glazed chicken wraps with pepper, lettuce and wedges. This is a really good one. So some really nice choices. And honestly, I don't know about you guys, but I get in such a rut when it comes to thinking about meals. I think I automatically default to like pasta, fajitas, jacket potatoes i like have the same selection of meals that we just rotate and it gets so boring 
And at this time of year, my focus is just moving my body more, getting back in the gym like you've seen today, and eating well, fueling my body with what it needs um, so that I can get back into the flow of working and being back in that routine. And having this is one less thing for me to have to think about. We're gonna show you us cooking the pasta later on because that's our favorite meal. Um, but if you did wanna try HelloFresh, I believe I've got 50% off your first box and 35% off your next. I said two, but it's actually your next three boxes. So well worth it for the huge discount for, to at least try it this month. Um, and I'll have that on screen now and linked below for you. So definitely go and utilize that. Right, I've put the food away. I've just put another wash on. I need to take this one upstairs. Just trying to get through the stuff from our holiday. It's nearly there now. We're not gonna have time to do the Christmas decorations before we go to the cinema, but we do have time to get the boxes out. Get the ladder of doom out. Go on then. Let's go. Who's going up? You. I'm going. That means you've got to be down there with all the boxes. Fine. Me. I don't need to go up because then I know what I'm passing down. I would have I thought you'd rather go up. Okay, fine. I'll come up. Christmas. Here are the Christmas things we need to put away. This is our lovely tree in case you missed it in the uh, Christmassy videos that we did. I absolutely love it. And then I've got all these bits and I've piled all our bits and bobs over here. This didn't look like this, obviously. I had everything out. Um, and, oh, I've got some lights under there. My mum actually got me this stand-up Mickey and Minnie for Christmas and I love them. They're from Primark. And uh, yeah, they've got like hard feet, legs, if that makes sense, so they can stand up. They're really cute. I do already have this Mickey and Minnie, but anywhere I can put Christmas Mickey and Minis around the house, I do, so love it. Right, let's get going. Can't remember if I said we are going to see The King's Man, so it should be a good film. I'm really looking forward to actually just a couple of hours this afternoon chilling. I'm gonna get a big Pepsi Max, just what I want. We've just come back from the cinema. The King's Man is the prequel to The Kingsman. Right? Correct. The first one, and then there was a second one after that. So is this the third in the series then? Uh, yeah, but it's like the first, the first one chronologically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Based around World War One. No, I've really enjoyed it, and also it's quite a lot in there that actually happened. Really good. It was alright. I I found the beginning was good. The middle was a bit odd at times. Um. I also have a phobia of sick, which I've talked about before, and there was a scene. I'm gonna put away the Christmas decorations, or start to, and Benji's gonna make the dinner, so we'll show you bits of both, as we do both. All right, I've got all the boxes. I think I'm gonna start with the train, and then I have specific boxes for these bigger things, and then just go for it. But I actually do wanna get some better storage. This is actually from my Lush advent calendar, and I thought it, oh, hang on, if I click that, there you go. What have I done? Why wouldn't that there we go? There we go. Um, I thought this could be quite good for storing stuff because it has like little dividers, although I've made a bit of a mess of that. And it has two layers of drawers, so that could be good. Uh, but we do have obviously the original boxes that the big baubles came in, but I definitely want something better because this just feels like it's just too much, isn't it? <laughs> Fresh, don't you? I just love cooking and it's 
gives me the right parameters not to stray too far from the recipe. Which you do like to do sometimes. <laughs> Oh, I completely forgot I had this. I didn't realise that was up there. Oh, I haven't used this at all. Oh, that's what that's for. I know, I completely forgot I had it. I've just been making do with what I had. I just didn't realise. Here's the finished result. Oh, it looks great, Ben. Sure done. And we're just sticking on the projector to watch Gary and Adam's new Disney vlog. We can now say that we're going to Disney this year. This actual year. This year, third time lucky. Three years after booking, three is my lucky number, so I'm hoping that this is the year. But what I actually came on to say is, when we were in the Cotswolds, we went to a pub and they had these really lovely, thick, nice glasses with like a design on. And Benj said at the restaurant, the glasses are so lovely, we should get some like that. And then when we were shopping, I think I did film a little clip of it, but I didn't film that we bought them. We found some very similar. And they're just really beautiful glasses, aren't they? They're lovely. They're really thick, they're really nice. We have no idea. I'll have to make oh, sorry, sorry. Don't mind that, we'll just uh splashing. That'll dry splashing. out. <laughs> Never mind. If I can find a link to them, I will, but they're really nice. And they match also the cocktail glasses that your mum got us for Christmas. Yeah, and then we also bought little versions as well. So you know we're getting like orange juice ones. Like tumbler ones. And you know we're getting old when we get excited about like homeware mm. like this. <laughs> yeah, we've, we're building our, our collection. All of our glasses are either from dads or like the ones you get out of like the Copperberg Christmas gift sets. Yeah. <laughs> Things like that, so. Um, it was time. Yeah. The other thing we would like to invest in at some point this year is new um, bowls and plates, because I think mm. these are Ikea, are they? Here's my little uh, treat, my Rice crispy treat. Yay. Right, Pom Pom. Good girl, Bonnie. Good girl. Captain Mickey. <laughs> yep, and the dream near the dawn. Whatever we come. Just like that, Christmas is all gone. I need to remove those little um, tabs where I had a garland up that said Merry Christmas, but we're still so undecis undecisive, undecided um, and indecisive on what we wanna do on this side of the room. We wanted sofas for ages, but we can't find the ones we like. And we're sort of working with obviously that gap there and then that bit there, but we don't want anything too intrusive out because we do have the bar here. Did I thought maybe a circle table could work, but we're not really that fast about having a dining table. Um, so to be honest, it just feels like such dead weird space. I don't know. If anyone has any bright ideas, um, let us know. All right, we've moved the piano to the left just to see, oh, piano, keyboard, you know what I mean? How that would look and whether we want a sofa that goes along the back wall. So a sofa here. The, it, underneath the picture. And just like that, the kitchen is lovely and tidy. Everything's put away. But I notice we missed the garland and the mistletoe. So I'm just gonna take those down. And then tomorrow we're gonna go to a couple of furniture shops and get a sofa. We think we decided we want a sofa there. Keep the piano there. I think it just works. And then get a coffee table, get rid of that. And we'll see how we go. Maybe a little rug or something. But I think that will look good. I have just made myself a cup of tea and I'm running a nice lush bath and I'm gonna read my new book that Benji's mum got me for Christmas. My cheeks are so red after that bath. It was very hot, but it was so lovely. And now I'm gonna carry on reading my book in bed. Just replied to some of your DMs on Instagram. So thank you if you follow me over there. I'm at Brogan Tate XO if you don't already follow me. I do lots of stuff on stories and share random pictures of my life and reels and all sorts of fun stuff. So please do come over there. And I wanna say thank you for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it, the first one back of the year. Maybe a little bit random, but very typical of what we get up to here. In the next couple of vlogs, I'd love to know what you wanna see from me. So is there anything in particular you want an update on? Like favorite, 
products, um, anything I haven't really talked about recently, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Um, and let me know how your Christmas and New Year was and things like that. I love, love, love reading your comments and chatting. I try and reply to as many comments as I can within the first few days of the videos going live. So please do um, leave below a comment. And thank you again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. If you want to check them out, like I said, the discount and link will be in the description below for you. Um, and let me know if you do end up using them because we love them so much. Even though they're a brand partner of mine, I work with them regularly. We do genuinely pay for it ourselves as well as customers every week. Um, it comes out of Benji and I's joint account and it's well worth it. We think it's fantastic. So that's all from me. I'll be back again very soon. Loads of new videos coming your way. This year's going to be so exciting, guys. Like I'm very very excited about it so have a lovely rest of your day please hit subscribe if you haven't already and give it a thumbs up and i'll see you again in the next one bye